Hey everybody, I'm gonna tell you about two states that are saying, well, one state and one major city rather, that are saying piss off to the Constitution even after all these Second Amendment issues that have been struck down since the 2022 Supreme Court ruling in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. And the two that I'm gonna tell you are so repugnant to the Constitution and the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights and the Second Amendment and the 14th Amendment and the Heller decision and the Caetano decision and the McDonald decision and the Bruin decision that most of you are just gonna shake your head because this is par for the course for at least one of these states. And the other one might raise an eyebrow, you know, because it's happening in one of the freest states. So we'll start out with, uh, I did a video, I'll float it above and I'll link it down below of what I call the worst gun control, now a law, then bill in the land. Uh, the Massachusetts unconstitutional governor, Mara Healey, has signed the worst piece of gun legislation in the land into law. It goes into effect August 1st, bans everything just about everything. If you're a, a, an FFL, a retailer, you're gonna get stuck with stock that you can't sell. Uh, if you're uh, somebody who's under 21 who has a, a FID card, a firearms identification card, you're gonna be forced to surrender your semi-automatic firearms. Uh, but there's a caveat. If you're on welfare, you can use your EBT card to buy ammo, not guns, but ammo. So there's, there's an attaboy for you. And there's a whole bunch of things that are terrible uh, like a, they expanded the roster requirements as far as what guns the, uh, the government blesses you to buy. But they threw rifles and shotguns on that list and there's no rifles and shotguns on the roster. There's a, a bunch of it. I go over it in that, that video, watch that. That's the first one. Just want to let you know that uh, Governor Healy, who is an ass clown, she is a giant ass clown, uh, even though she's four foot nine or whatever. Uh, she has signed that into law. It goes into effect August 1st. For those in Massachusetts who are watching this, my brethren, uh, it will be challenged. It is going to be, she will be sued. Um, I can tell you, I know of three issues that she'll be hit with uh, for obvious reasons. We're going to keep that close to the vest right now. But that's the first one. The second one in, in Massachusetts, right? You would expect them to do what they did. What they did was they took a chunk of the uh, California gun control and a chunk of New York gun control. And they said, you know what, even though New York is getting uh, challenged and the Supreme Court is uh, granted certiorari, vacated the lower court, uh, the second circuit court's decision and remanded their, their lawsuit from GOA that's challenging the expansion of sensitive spaces post Bruin, meaning everything basically is a gun-free zone. Well, Massachusetts said, we're gonna do that and we're gonna, we're gonna up that as well. We're gonna up the roster. We're gonna look at a micro stamping, even though it's been proven that won't work. We're gonna do all the things that the, the rainbows and unicorn people tell us we should love. That's Massachusetts. The next one comes from one of the freest states in the union, Tennessee. And I'll, start, I'll preface this by saying that unlike Massachusetts, Tennessee has a preemption law, which means no city, no town, no county, uh, no township, nothing. Nobody can pass any more stringent Second Amendment firearm regulation than the state already has. That's what preemption is. It forebodes it, it doesn't, it can't happen. And that brings me to what Memphis did this past Tuesday. The Memphis City Council voted 10 to nothing to have a referendum for the residents of Memphis to vote on in this November's election. It's crazy. I'm gonna read it to you because it's shocking. It's literally saying, look, we can't do this, but tell us how bad you want this and we'll try to just do it anyway. Yeah, we'll get sued. Yeah, we can't do it. Yeah, the uh, attorney general in, in, in Tennessee is gonna slap us down and, and stop this from happening, but we're gonna do it anyway. Check it out. Here's an ordinance to amend and restate referendum ordinance number 5877 that proposed an amendment to the chapter of the city of Memphis pursuant to article 11, section nine of the constitution of the state of Tennessee, the home rule amendment, so as to provide provisions for the regulation of deadly weapons. Ooh, that sounds important, doesn't it? 
we'll jump right into the actual questions. The rest of it is just BS. Question number one, shall the charter of the city of Memphis be amended to read one, no person shall be allowed, allowed to carry a handgun in the city of Memphis without possessing a valid handgun permit. It's looking to overrule constitutional carry just in the uh, pleasure dome that is Memphis, Tennessee, the crime ridden Memphis, Tennessee. Two, no person shall be allowed to carry, store, or travel with a handgun in a vehicle in the city of Memphis without possessing a valid handgun permit. Three, it shall be unlawful for a person to store a firearm, whether loaded or unloaded, or firearm ammunition in a motor vehicle or boat while the person is not in the motor vehicle or boat unless the firearm or firearm ammunition is kept from ordinary observation and locked within the trunk, utility box, or glove box or a locked container securely affixed to the motor vehicle or boat. Question two, this would be an assault weapon ban. Here's what it says. Shall the charter of the city of Memphis be amended to read, one, the citizens of Memphis hereby find and declare that the proliferation and use of assault weapons pose a threat to the health, safety, and security of all citizens of Memphis. Number two, hereafter, it shall be unlawful and prohibited for a person to possess or carry openly or concealed any assault rifles in the city of Memphis. Well, assault rifles are full auto, so there's probably not many that are lawfully held, but the gangbangers who have these will never listen to anything they pass for a law. Persons with valid handgun permits are exempt from this restriction when possessing or carrying an assault rifle on their privately owned property or at a shooting range. Hereafter, the commercial sale of assault rifles within the city of Memphis is unlawful and is hereby prohibited. The provisions of this chapter shall not apply to the commercial sale of assault rifles to any federal, state, local law enforcement agency, the United States Armed Forces or Department or Agency of the United States, Tennessee National Guard or Department Agency or Political Subdivision of a state or a law enforcement officer. Five, pre-existing owners that can demonstrate that the commercial sale of an assault rifle was completed prior to the effective date of January 1, 2025, which means that prior to January 1, 2025, the purchaser completed an application, passed a background check, and has a receipt or a purchase order for said purchase, without regard to whether the purchaser has actual physical possession of the assault rifle, shall be considered a pre-existing purchaser. And question three, shall this charter of the city of Memphis be amended to read one extreme risk protection orders. We'll talk red flag. Now, this past session, the legislature passed and the governor signed a bill into law saying that these locales could not pass their own uh, red flag bills. But if you look through the definitions, it would be a law enforcement agency or officer, including an attorney for the state who could ask for these, a member of the family of the respondent, which shall be understood to mean a parent, spouse, child, or sibling, a member of the household, a dating or intimate partner, a health care provider who has provided health services to this respondent, an official of a school or school system in which the respondent is enrolled or has been enrolled within the preceding month. These are all people who could seek a red flag against an individual. Next, they go over the types of orders an emergency ex parte order, which means you don't get your chance to go before a judge. They can do this in secret to try to jam you up and lie and not verify any claims against you, nor do you get to uh, cross-examine anything. You don't get to confront your accusers in violation of all of our rights for the judicial system. And this is a civil thing so that you don't get your uh, right to an attorney as well. Then the search and seizure, which violates your Fourth Amendment, means they can take anything a gun from anywhere that you would have access to. Of course, you'd get a hearing after the fact, not before the fact, like our judicial system requires. And of course, they have violations which make it sound like there's going to be some type of defense against wrong accusations. You can see one, two, and three. One is the filer of a false or harassing application. Two, respondent would not comply with the order, which means most people shall not comply. Uh, three, provider of prohibited access to respondent and that they'll be able to vote on as well. So just two examples of fiefdoms, which they think they no longer uh, allow you to have your rights that our forefathers friggin' died for to get us away from the crown, which was doing this back then. Uh, for the people who continue to vote blue no matter who, and our gun owners, this might sting, but so be it. You are a big part of the problem. 
it's okay to not have us all think the same way, act the same way, have the same beliefs, eat the same food, love the same beverage, enjoy the same uh, scenery, right? This is America. It's great to be different. However, if you're voting for the people in the, regardless of party, because there are some in the Republican side, if you're voting for the people who are looking to take away your rights and make you a subject of the crown, you're part of the friggin' problem if you're a gun owner. And I'm gonna hit this bell again. There are almost 10 million gun owners on a bunch of sides of the aisle that aren't even registered to vote. Yet we'll complain about things that are happening in the political system, complain about bills or laws that are passed when their votes could have absolutely been a huge part of making sure that those people either weren't elected or were replaced. Well, I have to finish this on my phone because my camera overheated. Uh, it's hot out here. So with that, guys and gals, do what's right. Uh, be part of the fix, not part of the problem. And please pass this information along. I appreciate y'all. If you love the Second Amendment, subscribe to this channel down below. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. I'll bring you all the news, no matter where it happens, whether it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, right here on Guns and Gadgets. Have a phenomenal day. God bless you. Take care.